She-Hulk episode five for um, She-Hulk by Titania. Um, so I watched She-Hulk earlier this morning. I'll watch it with my dad later on uh, tomorrow, probably. Uh, and so my my experience with the series so far has been mostly positive. There hasn't been. I think the first episode is still the best episode. Um, but one of the things that I liked about this particular episode is that there was no, weird to say, but there was no superheroing. Uh, like in episode one, obviously we got left the training montage with Bruce. In episode two, there really isn't anything except dealing with Blonsky, so that's one thing. Uh, in episode three, we had her dealing with a wrecking crew being attacked at night. In episode four, she was fighting the little demon big goblins. Here, there's no fighting, but what I think I really like about this episode is it's kind of a Marvel... I mean, it, it, first off, it is very much the procedural that they're at, they were advertising it as. It's oh, they're dealing with a case, the lawsuit about the trademark of She-Hulk, but it just comes off as a slice of life uh, in the MCU. Like, there's no superheroing going on at the moment. It's just the super how you're dealing with superheroes in regular day. Like, when you're a superhero, you need to trademark your name. Like, you know how does how that works? Like. I'm, willing, I'm guaranteeing you Iron Man probably trademarked Iron Man. Granted, he's also a genius, so that's why he got those Iron Man kicks. He probably allowed that to happen, but Tony wasn't stupid. He probably did that. Captain America was given that name by the U.S. government. You can't trademark that because it was literally federally owned. Um, in Doctor Strange, Thor, she uses an example. They have trademark names. You use two examples of two people who use their actual names. <laughs> you see the look on her face like, ooh. <laughs> um... Hawkeye. Um, I don't think Hawkeye is trademarked, nor was Natasha's Black Widow moniker. Vision, the Vision was probably not trademarked, but seeing as he is a um, a um, uh, like a, a a synthetic organism, there was probably something to that. So yeah, it's like, how do you deal with that? And I like the. Now I I like the fact that they did answer my question from last week. Like, uh, how are you? How can you trade some a name that other people gave you? Well, they they answered that. I like the fact the answer is like, yeah, you were denouncing that name, and then they show the other clip where it says, yeah, well, whether I like it or not, I'm she hulk I was like, do you have any other examples of that? So I like that. I like that that was brought up. Uh, I'll say this too: Titania. I don't remember the actress's name. Now that we actually got a bit of her, like, acting and as a character, um, she's a bit one note, and I'll say that. I, I think she'll be a good foil for uh, Jennifer, though. I think that, uh, because we know she is super-powered on some level, she and uh, Jennifer can definitely duke it out in a fair fight, maybe. She does come off as very vapid, self-absorbed, and maybe even a bit sociopathic, because, like, wow, you were petty. First off, how you got off from just attacking a courtroom full of people, I'll never know. How that that was like a clear like you want to talk about a good lawyer? Do they? She have Matt? I doubt it. Like how the hell did that work? Um, but the fact that uh, she was plugging her products in the courts. I mean, Jesus. Uh, the fact that she's just um, you know trying to stick it to the girl who beat her ass. I'm like. Wow, you're petty. Which is, wow. Um, and I mean, she plays that well. She does. I like the fact that we now have the um, the suit maker. We have the guy who customizes the suits for heroes. Um, I like that we have that type of character. And that's where She-Hulk clearly gets her item, or wardrobe from. Um, I mean, honestly, Hawkeye probably got, could have got his shit from there too, but you know, he got it from cosplayers instead. Uh, but yeah, there's not, not a whole lot to go over from that. Not a lot of fourth wall breaking either, to be honest. Uh, I do find it, I do like how they were able to get her off, uh, from the, uh, trademark infringement, uh, bringing all the, the, her dates in, uh, the fact that we got to see Todd again. People are speculating Todd might actually be as it sam samuel stearns uh the leaders because we know leader will show up in new world order he's going to be the villain uh people are speculating that he actually might be his brother who is another gamma radiated in uh individual called madman and that his interest in her is actually because he's the one actually after her blood to turn him maybe into madman that 
that is maybe they did bring him back and he is still awkward so it's not out of the realm of possibility and people saying and i've heard people speculate if the leader will at least make a cameo maybe he's the one after her blood and make like a post credit scene see i've heard people argue that he wouldn't fit the tone based on the type of movie that um new captain america 4 is going to be but abomination doesn't fit the tone when you think about that because of the type of movie incredible hulk was so this th that's not to say you can't do that but to be fair abomination was introduced in incredible hulk whereas um whereas um the leader would have to be introduced in shield going into so I don't know if it's not the leader. My money right now is either on Titania or it's on him. It's on that guy. But maybe it's someone else entirely. Because I doubt Valentina would be hiring these garden variety thugs. But um, Titania or this weirdo guy just getting some random guys on the street to do. I can see that happening. Uh, that sounds very realistic uh, or very, um, very plausible, I should say. But obviously you get the big reveal at the end that next week is going to be the episode Matt shows up. Because we see that's where he gets his new headpiece, the new Daredevil helmet. And I'm like, yeah, okay. I'm looking forward to Matt. Uh, is it, and is it wrong that even though I am liking, first off, Tatiana Mislani is doing everything she can on the show to make it as good as it can be. And she's great. She is good. The character of Jen... I'm still a little hit and missed with, but I am seeing more and more the the progression of she's realizing she not only is she realizing that she and she Hulk, Jen and she Hulk are the same, uh, basically one and the same. Like her life isn't the same anymore. She things keep changing, and you know her responsibility. And there's a line from the mid season trailer where Matt and her are having a drink, and he says, "I think you're in a unique position." Jen can help people. Uh, uh, Jen can help people when uh, the society fails, and Shield can help people when the law fails. And that is, I think, um, and, we can, and I know there's a scene apparently from uh, uh, D23 where they kind of have a moment of flirting, which is it's like, is it just me or is this guy kind of growing on you? <laughs> kind of growing. Me. Um, so, <laughs> hey, I ship that. She Hulk and Matt, hey, yeah, big get. get Get, get the double get the double d get the daredevil get the double d and the big green <laughs> whatever uh hey uh, nice suit shrek that was a, that was a funny line um overall i like this episode it is a good I, again it's kind of like a slice of life episode a little bit just like the everyday court dealings but it's still focusing on jen and i like that i also like the little side story about the um about um nick was it uh, Vicky or Nikki or friend and the uh, the other guy is like wait you're gonna buy two pairs one to wear and one to look at yeah I respect that <laughs> uh, but um, yeah no I like this episode I did uh, what did you think though did you like did you like it more than last week that is a good question did I like it more than last week because I liked last week more than a lot of other people did apparently not a lot of people liked last week's episode or at least a vocal amount of people did not like it I did like it and maybe it's because I'm Wong, frankly. I think, though, this is probably a better constructed episode. It is. It's not as... It's not dumbing down some characters like Wong as much. Like, seriously, Wong, just take his sling ring. That's all you had to do. You were literally a Sorcerer Supreme. As he said, I'm more mystical than you in my sleep. Um, but seriously, all you had to do was take the damn sling ring. Now, you might have still brought the goblins out, in which case you... In which case, actually, he would have screwed. He would have. They would have been screwed uh, because then no Wong wouldn't have had any idea about it going on. At least not initially. Um. So yeah. Um. I guess I did like this a little better than last week's episode. Uh. If I would guess, if I were to rank the episodes right now, I still think the first one is the best one. I do think that. I've been going off of the third one is the second best one. Do I think this is better than the third one? No, I think the third one is better. Uh, I do think the third one is better. Uh, although the Megan the Stallion thing, you know what? Uh, long, long story short, even though the Megan the Stallion thing is funny, I really you couldn't do whatever. Um, uh, so actually, you know, I'll take it back. Just because of that Megan and the Stallion thing. Not her in the episode, but the damn twerking thing. 
I will say that this is actually probably the second best episode. Then I'll go the third episode. Then I'll go to second, and then I'll go the fourth. And I don't think any episode is bad in this series right now, like straight up bad. But in the or progression of best to le- of the two most likable or uh, the most enjoyable to least enjoyable, that would be my order right now. That is just my opinion, though. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.